Hello, today we are going to break down Chet Faker's gold video. I hear it over and over and over again that this video made people want to start roller skating and I am so here for it. This video is phenomenal. These three skaters that are in this video are extremely talented, but I want to break this down and show you what moves they are doing, tell you what moves they are doing so that you too can learn how to skate just like this video. If you want to learn how to roller skate, I have memberships and courses available on my website, thatnicolefiori.com, and right here on YouTube. There are hundreds of videos, drills, skills, and choreography, and I will mention specifically which videos you should watch in order to do some of these skills. Okay, so let's get into it. When they start out, when she starts out, she is doing a series of pushing because she's trying to keep up, but also trying to stay away from the camera. That is one of the hardest things in filming something like this is you want to have a good distance away from the camera, but you also need to be in the light. So you see at the beginning of this that she is pushing, but she is also slowing down. So she starts out with a lot of scissors or bubbles. Scissors are great because as your feet go out, you gain speed, and then as you come in, you can use it to gain speed or you can use it to slow down. So that is a very important skill if you are going to film something like this. Scissors, also known as bubbles, those will be your best friend. She starts off with some scissors, of course, and then some cross pulls. And she kind of does these cross pulls like international runs. So forward cross pulls and international runs, both of those I do have skills videos on if you want to check that out. She is doing like a really pretty forward cross pull, which is awesome. So she does some cross pulls. She does some backward crosses, back crosses. I also have a skills video on that. But she does everything very stylized. So she is pointing her toes. She has really good carriage in her body. Her posture is great. And then she slows down. You can see that she's like dragging her inner wheels to slow down as she's doing some edges. Now I want to rewind for a moment and talk about pushing off of your toe stops. Our toe stops are used to stop, but they are also used to push. So if you don't want to push with your wheels, like off of the big toe wheel, if you don't want to do standard pushing, you can also push off of your toe stops. Your toe stops are your friend, especially when you're skating outside. She uses them a lot at the beginning of this and throughout to push. She pushes off of the toe stop. Now we get into this choreography and you start to see the girls come up a little bit. They are still like kind of in the shadows. Now that's another really difficult thing because these two skaters that are in the back, they have to match each other. And skating in an outdoor surface like that can be really tough. This is the main part that I think of when I think of this video. She does this big wide stance. That is what I think of when I think of this video, that one move. But going into it, she does some staggered feet moves. So when you skate outside, this is, it looks good and it is a safety thing that if your feet are staggered, you're more likely to be able to save yourself. If your feet are right next to each other in parallel, if you hit something, it's not as safe. So when you're skating outside and you can see this from her choreography, when she's just rolling, her feet are staggered. So one is in back a little bit, one is in front a little bit. After she does that big wide move, she does a heel to heel rotation. And this is a very quick rotation. It's not very stretched out. And then she slams both toe stops down. Now I was just working on this in a lesson yesterday with one of my students going fast and needing to stop very quickly. I do it downhill a lot. I turn around, do a heel to heel transition, and I slam both toe stops down. When you do this, you have to make sure that your knees are bent and you are putting weight down into the ground because putting the toe stops down and not doing that can sometimes send you backwards, can send you where you don't wanna go. So she turns around and slams both toe stops down to then turn around. After this, she pushes off again with her toe stops, does some more very small scissors. It's more of a dance move there and you see the two other skaters coming up. Those two other skaters have to push really hard now because they had to stay in the shadow and now they're coming up to the light. So they have to, again, make sure they're staying with each other, but they have to really push here. The skater in the middle does a jump. She does a little hop on both feet and another heel to heel going into 
and Ina Bauer. One of my favorite things to do on skates. It is so pretty, but you really have to manage your edges here. She has to manage to not do super deep inner edges. When I do it, I, try, I really like to do it in a circle and I like to really press my inner edges on it, but she has to maintain her edges here because she doesn't want to go fully in a circle. She wants to kind of go straight and then she again turns around, slams both toe stops down. So she kind of repeats that move. Now let's get into this next bit of choreography. The girls on the side are matching and they do again like a big scissor wide stance, which it looks really cool. Then they hop around and they have some arm choreography with it. That part gets a little bit messy, but honestly, <laughs> this is amazing that they all stayed together because this surface is not easy to skate on. <laughs> they get into matching choreography together here and they go into holding hands, some strides matching, and then they turn around. When you're doing edges like this, you can see that they are in this lunging position. You really have to make sure that you have weight in both feet, but more weight on that front foot to really anchor you down into the ground and get that outer forward edge. Ah, before that, okay, before they do the lunge, the middle skater does a very small bunny hop. Now a bunny hop uses, again, those toe stops. You use your toe stop and you hop to it and push. I also have a skills class on that. I have a skills class on a bunny hop and a double bunny hop. <laughs> it's pretty fun. After they circle around here, they launch the middle skater forward. You can you, like really use your core to steady yourself and you can reach your hand out, grab someone else's hand and you pull them forward. That's what they do here after a very quick turnaround. Now after this, they have to get forward and they have to push really hard to get forward before the next big piece of choreography. But those big pushes, again, they need to try to match each other in timing of the actual push and in timing of the actual speed. Speed here is a little more important because they want to all be in frame, but with that big choreography shaking, the camera goes down. Now we are not done with the skating because when it comes back up, they do this pattern with each other. They weave back and forth with each other and then they go into this big spiral. So they're doing an outer forward edge. Each of them is doing an outer forward edge, doing a big spiral. And then again, they go into that big wide stance. That big wide stance is pretty much a big scissor. You just hold on the outside and that is big time inner thigh strength. They grab hands, which is a really cool moment. Now this turnaround that they do, this is kind of hard. <laughs> So they have to manage the spacing, obviously to not hit each other as they do this, but they're doing rotations here. So a lot of heel to heel, a lot of using that toe stop to maintain your speed. And the main skater, she does a big heel to heel rotation here. And then she does a three turn. Now that back to forward three turn that she does, there's another one of those coming up that they all do together. Now together, they all three turn around. They weave, they put pressure into each foot not quite doing a dribble. If they were stationary, it would kind of be like a dribble, but here they're rolling. So they're just switching from one foot to the other, putting pressure into each foot. They turn forward. This turn forward is not quite a three turn. It's kind of an assisted three turn. I put that in some of my choreography, especially for the beginner intermediate. Then they go into this dropping lunge, which is really cool, up, into again another pattern they walk and then they don't quite do a heel to heel transition it's kind of the same technique it's more of a hop there's the three turn which leads us into a 360 jump if you look at the timing here everyone's jump timing is different it is so close though they did a really good job but what's crazy to me is placing this at the end to do that entire piece of choreography flawlessly and then putting like, I think the riskiest move at the end, whew, that's having some faith. <laughs> that's having some faith in these skaters that they're gonna do that really well every time, which I have no doubt that they did. But that 360 jump is one full rotation off of both feet onto both feet. Really good job. Then from here, I can tell you knowing these girls they are like, thank goodness, all is well after this. 
This is easy now. So they do a lot of different scissors and a lot of this skater in front does like not quite a full scissor with both feet. She does that and then she wiggles that front foot. That's switching from an outer forward edge to an inner forward edge just over and over and over again with that front foot. A rock over like that, I do again have a skills class on that. Um, that is a rock over going from the outer to the inner really quickly. Then we have some more rotations. It's more of those not quite a three turn. It's like an assisted three turn. Both feet are turning. You still need to know when doing something like this. That's why I'm comparing it to a three turn because when you turn from forward to back, you need to lift your heel wheels. And then to turn from back to forward, you have to lift your toe wheels. That will keep your momentum traveling forward. If you don't do that, your momentum does not continue traveling forward. And going this fast, you would probably trip. Um, now, the main skater, she goes into a kind of downtown while rolling. So way back when, we used to call this a grapevine. Now there's another thing that we call a grapevine that's on the toes. So this is kind of like a rolling downtown. That's what I'll call it. It's a series of crosses, cross in front, cross in back. And then we do kind of a strut walk off of camera to lead the camera actually. When she's doing this, she is placing one foot in front of the other and using the back foot to push off of the toe stop. So she's gaining a lot of speed on this while looking really cool. And then we have our girls skating away. Their feet were probably so like <laughs> from the shaking of the ground. That is one of the hardest surfaces to skate on. And with so much speed like they did, that's pretty wild to skate that well on a surface like that. So great job to these skaters, very impressive. A lot of those moves, you gotta start somewhere and those are not really super difficult moves to do. It's just putting them together on a surface like that to do a video that long it takes a lot of talent and a lot of practice, but the individual skills that are used are not super difficult. So it's a lot of balancing one foot and then the other, trusting your balance to go from one foot to another foot and working on those edges. So just from the beginning with the scissors and bubbles, those are a lot of inner edges. They're really controlling their inner edges. And then when they did the lunges and all of that, that's an outer edge to turn around a lot of heel to heel transitions. So not super difficult skills. I want you to know that you can learn these things. It is completely possible. You could totally reenact this video if you wanted. And to learn all of these skills, I do have memberships with hundreds of videos on YouTube and on my website, thatnicolefiori.com, and a fully built out one-time payment course if you would rather do that. Please let me know what other videos you would like me to break down. This is honestly so much fun to me to just watch these over and over again and let you know what skills are being used and how you can learn them, little tips and tricks. So let me know what videos you would like me to break down in the future and I will see you later. Bye.